One of the easiest ways that I know to make money online is by utilizing something as simple as an ebook. What an ebook is, it's called an electronic book. It's basically like a PDF or an EPUB or a Mobi or a dot Amazon. But in its simplest form, it's just basically a book that's created on something like Word and then you give it away for free or you can charge people for it. But the issue is most people don't have it in them to go about writing a book for themselves. So I'm going to show you an awesome tool that's going to basically do it all for you. You've heard of ChatGPT, you've heard of artificial intelligence and Neuron Writer and Jasper and all of these, potentially you haven't heard of Google Bard yet. Google Bard is Google's version of AI of ChatGPT and while some people don't think that it is as good as ChatGPT, what I'm seeing at the moment is ChatGPT going down like this and Google Bard coming up like this in terms of the quality of output. And one of the beautiful things about Google Bard is that it's connected to Google. So you can ask it things that are relevant to right now and it's going to be able to give you the answers to what's happening right now in the world, anything that appears on Google. So this is why it is so, so beautiful. So I'm going to demystify the whole process of actually creating this ebook utilizing Google Bard. So I'm super excited for this. I hope you are too. So let's get into it. Hey, my name's Kieran, and this is Get Free. If you haven't already, I hope that you like this video and I hope that I earn your subscription with this video here. There's so much to come on the channel. So leave your thumbs up and a comment below and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so one of the things that I want you to realize when it comes to any of the, the artificial intelligences, the more specific that you can actually be with your prompts that you give it or the words that you type into it to get your result, the better your results are actually going to be. So that is number one, being specific. Don't be kind of like broad and say, hey, can you write me an ebook on, uh, you know, making chocolate? You know, you have to be specific within it. And that's what we're going to run through here. We're going to say, hey, can you give me some ideas about an ebook about making chocolate that would be interesting? And then we're going to go inside of those ideas. Now, for this, we're not going to utilize the idea of making chocolate, but we're going to utilize an idea that has the ability to actually make you money. And that's what's key here. So we're going to be specific about the questions we ask Google Bard related to an ebook that's going to make you cash. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to come over to Google Bard here. And if you don't know Google Bard, it's pretty, pretty simple to go to. Just go to Google and type in Google Bard and it's going to come up with Bard that looks like this. Now, you probably will have to sign into it or you most likely will have to sign into it. I think you definitely have to sign into it, right? But you sign into it with your Google account. And if you don't have a Google account, well, pretty easy to set up. They're free to set up. So just go ahead and set up a Gmail account. Then you can sign into Google Bard and it just looks like this. For me, it's saying, hello again, tell me what's on your mind or pick a suggestion. I have limitations and I won't always get it right, but your feedback will help me improve. Okay. So it realizes that, you know, that it's not perfect and that nothing really is perfect. AI isn't perfect at the moment, even on ChatGPT. Actually, it's, to be honest, and I know I said this at the start, ChatGPT is annoying me. Like it really is. The quality of the output of ChatGPT is going down massively and Google's is going up, which I love to see. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to make our first prompt in here. Okay, so the first prompt is this, as you can see here, what are the best niche markets to enter into to make money online? And we're just going to click enter. And one of the things about Bard is it doesn't start writing like, um, like ChatGPT does. It just kind of starts thinking for a little bit. And then next of all, what you're going to see is just going to give me an output. It should give me an output. Yep, yeah, look, all right. So it's giving me an output right now. And what it's done is the best affiliate niche markets to enter into to make money online are the ones that are profitable, growing and competitive. Okay. And then it's going to say, here are some of the best affiliate niche markets to enter in 2023. And it's going to go technology, wealth building, health, fitness, fashion and beauty, lifestyle, hobby, pet care and travel. OK, and within each of these broad niches, there are many sub niches and micro niches that we can focus on. 
For example, within the technology niche, you could focus on promoting software for video editing or music production. Within the web building, wealth building niche, you could focus on promoting products and services that help people start a business or invest in real estate. So I'm not gonna go through everything that it says here, but once we have that, that's a great start to it. And you're gonna wanna have a look through here and basically start deciding, okay, so what is the niche that I'd like to go into? Now, if you already know your niche, that's a great one, okay? And you can ask it to start developing on that niche, which we're gonna start doing now. If you have your own niche, then you're gonna enter it into here. But if you don't have your own niche and you've just chosen it from uh, one of these niches here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a prompt like this, okay? So I'm gonna change this. As you can see, what are specific problems people face in the insert niche market? I'm just gonna say travel market okay then what's gonna happen is again it's gonna start thinking and it's gonna start looking at specific issues that are happening within that market and the reason that I say problems why do you want to find out the problems that people are having within a market well because if you can find out the problems then you can create a solution and people are always looking for solutions to their problems that means that if you create something that is of perceived value to them then they're gonna get it, they're gonna download it, and potentially they're gonna be able to purchase items that you have for sale within side of your ebook, potentially called affiliate products. If you wanna find more about affiliate products, make sure that you check out my free affiliate marketing training, which I'm gonna leave a link for down in the description. So let's look at some of the things that they've put here. People face a variety of problems in the travel markets, including high costs, hidden fees, poor customer service, language barriers, unexpected delays, safety concerns. In addition, these general problems may also face specific problems depending on the individual travel needs. That's a good introduction into kind of some of the problems that are happening. Now we're going to look at our next prompt. I like the idea of safety concerns and how to overcome these. I'm looking to create an ebook on this topic. Could you give me five ideas in what I could write about so I can decide what to create? And then we can just click enter and what it's going to do is it's going to do what I asked it. All right so it's going to go and look and find five ideas that I could write about in an ebook. Okay, right, so here are the five ideas for topics you could write about in an ebook on safety concerns in travel and how to overcome them, all right? So how to stay safe when traveling to countries with high crime rates, how to stay safe when traveling to countries with political instability, how to stay safe when traveling solo, stay tr safe when traveling with children, and how to stay safe when traveling in remote areas. So these are great ideas. So again, I just want you to go through these and see which are the ones that are basically jumping out at you. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at that one that really jumps out at you, and we're gonna turn it or ask Google Bard to turn it into an ebook outline for us. So let's say how to stay safe when traveling with children. I like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to grab the next prompt that we're going to use and we're going to copy the how to stay safe when traveling with children. So as you can see here, okay, I like the idea of how to stay safe when traveling with children. Could you create a potential outline for an ebook of 5,000 words on this topic? Make sure to add at least 10 lesser known pieces of advice in the outline. And the reason that I say 5,000 words, 5,000 words first off is a great amount of words for an ebook because it's not too much and a person can get read or can read it fairly quickly. Plus, adding 10 lesser known pieces of advice, that basically not only makes your ebook stand out, but it also acts as marketing collateral. So if you wanted to put your content or your ebook up onto something like Pinterest to get people to download it, then you would have some really cool advice to grab people in. You could do it on Facebook groups as well. You can do it wherever you can reach an audience related to who it is that will be interested in your content. And these lesser known pieces of advice are gonna give you some awesome information. So again, it's just gonna go and it's gonna spit out this information for me here. Okay, and so what it's done here is given me an ebook outline, as you can see here. Okay, it's given me five chapters, summary, and lesser known points, okay? And as you can see, let's have a look at some of the lesser known points down here. 
here. Uh, teach your child how to stay safe in the event of a natural disaster, such as an earthquake or a hurricane, or even, uh, you know, a tsunami, which is happening, unfortunately, quite a bit. Be aware of the risks of animal bites and teach your child how to, how to avoid animal bites. Okay, so these are really great little tips. But what I want you to do is I want you to just have a look here. So we got an introduction and got some points in here. Then we got chapter one, planning a safe trip. We got chapter two, staying safe in transit. Chapter three, staying safe at your destination. Chapter four, staying safe at a specific situation, um, et cetera, et cetera. Chapter five, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, one of the things that people do that cause them to get outputs from um, artificial intelligence that isn't really, really good is by just kind of like going and doing the whole kind of thing straight away. Okay, so it's it's by going and saying, hey, can you just write that ebook now? So what I want you to do now is I want you to go on to the next part. And here's where basically what I want you to do is I want you to take each one of these step at a time. This is how simple it is. Can you write section one on chapter one, planning your safe trip? And then you're going to click enter. And what's going to happen is it's going to actually go and create chapter one for you. Once you have chapter one, you can then export it to a Google Docs. You got a nice chapter there. You can click share or export down here and you can export it to Docs. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a doc for you. Now, if you aren't happy with, let's open up this doc. So as you can see here, is, let's just call it chapter one. As you can see, here is chapter one. Now, if you didn't like this or you wanted a bit more, well, then basically you could ask it to expand on that. You could say, hey, could you expand on that? But if not, like mostly these are great. Okay, mostly these are great. And you just export it and you've got your first chapter done. Next of all, how do you think you get the next chapter? You pretty much do exactly the same thing. So you go and you write section two and then you're just going to grab the information from section two which is here and again you're just going to paste it in there and you're going to get chapter two and by the end of this do this for all of the chapters and then at the end go and look at the lesser known points as well and say hey could you write a little post for this and that's going to help with your marketing avenues here that you can put it up so people will actually see what you're talking about and want to download your ebook i hope you can see how easy this is so what i'm going to do for you I'm gonna leave these points down below the video that is going to enable you to actually just follow along step by step and actually create that ebook for yourself utilizing Google Bart it's super super simple it really is I'm gonna give you that but what I want you to do is spend a little bit of time making sure that the output that Google Bard gives you is great. So while I'm going to show you how to do it super, super quickly, I want you to spend that time on it. Even if you spent a whole day on creating an ebook, remember that that ebook is there for eternity, pretty much. And it could be bringing you in money every single day for the next amount of years. But don't go into it too crazy. Like don't spend like five weeks on it or something like that, because that would be silly. I want you to spend a few hours to a day on it, Get it looking beautiful. Use something like Canva or Designer, D-E-S-I-G-N-E-R-R.com, which is a, I like it, $27 or something like that. And that would make your ebook for you. I use Canva for these things, to be honest. Like, and oh, and I've got a final tip for you here related to Google Bard. If you speak multiple languages, get Google Bard to translate your content into a different language. Like just say to it, hey, can you translate that into Spanish? Or can you translate that into, um, you know, German or French or Portuguese or Italian or Chinese or Japanese, whatever it actually is. Just get them to translate it into your language of choice. And then basically you have the option to, to basically hit two target markets. You know, two markets where people are looking for safety related to their children when they go on holidays and you got two languages. So then you can go out and market it using your lesser known facts in a different language to hit multiple markets. And then it just multiplies your effect on and also the income that you will receive. My name's Kieran Doyle. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that I've earned your subscription with this because as I said at the start, there's lots to come on the channel. I'm really excited about it. And I'm looking forward to hopefully giving you the freedom that I basically have.
So as I said before, there's a, there's a link in the description which shows you all about affiliate marketing and how you can actually utilize it inside this ebook that you're creating for yourself. So let's say you give away the ebook and it has affiliate marketing products inside of the ebook. Then when people read the ebook and they click on a link in it and they purchase, you make a sale. So I talk about all that in the affiliate marketing training and it's free. Keep it easy. Looking forward to talking to you in the next video. Sayonara.